Hey everybody, this is David with the Plant Bar. We're just getting uh, getting everything set up and we'll wait for some people to jump on and, and get going. It's Tuesday night, uh, what is it, March 31st? Mm -hmm. Tuesday night, March 31st, end of March of 2020. And uh, just gonna have a little chat and show you some plants. See if I can. And maybe I'll build something. I don't know. Depends if I can't figure out what to do with my hands. I might uh, might put something together with some plants I got laying around here. So as you come on, um, I'm gonna have a. I'll have a. I'll have an iPod here. iPad. Whoa. iPod. <laughs> Stuck in the nineties. Ninety ninety six. Uh, I have an iPad here. Uh, we're gonna be live on Facebook and we're gonna be live on YouTube. So the YouTube. Uh, I'll be able to see all the comments here in front of me and then all the Facebook stuff I'll be able to monitor here. See, like it tells you who's coming on. Yep. So uh, feel free to say hello. Tell me who's watching. Where are you from? The vicinity at least. And uh, what's for dinner? Because I'm hungry. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't eat. So <laughs> uh, I went out my. My son got done uh, work. He's an essential worker. He's out sanitizing people's yards, uh, cleaning up uh, the dog poo. And when he got home, he wanted to do some off-roading. So we we took a little leisurely trip. Uh, instead of making dinner, we went out and uh, went out in the desert and hopped around for about 20, 30 minutes. And then I, I had to come back because we'd, we'd said we're going to be, be live at 7.15. But here we are. No food for the family. And uh, I'm a little bit late. So, um, you know, anybody that's on Facebook or on YouTube, as you're getting on, jumping on, just say, hey, I'm David with the Plant Bar. And what I wanted to do was, was just show you some, uh, some cool plants that we have in the store. We, we had to, we had to uh, change our store up today in Arizona at 5 o'clock. Uh, would have been would have been closing time for for us. We had already closed our retail store uh, some time ago on the seventeenth. March seventeenth. March seventeenth. We closed. We've been doing online, so we got a little we got a, a jump start on getting stuff online, but we've got a lot of work to do. So we have a ton of our plants on there. Um, there's a locals only that has some of the larger uh, larger plants that are uh, that can be shipped, but they're just a little more expensive because they're bigger and more heavy bigger boxes. Um, hi, Teresa. My grandma Darlene is on. She's going to be the moderator. She's going to be watching out for anybody uh, <laughs> doing things that are naughty. So watch your language. Where's your mom? On the show. Um, I was talking to my mom a while ago, uh, FaceTiming. The kids had FaceTimed my mom and, and she was, uh, so she kind of got a little tour. But we decided to do this stationary for YouTube. So instead of me running around looking at stuff, we're just going to bring it up here and kind of show you some plants and, and talk about it. And I figured I'd just hang out with you guys for a little bit. So if you have a plant question and you've been thinking about it or something you you, you wanted to know, just say, um, just type it in. Hey, what, what do, how do I get this plant? A lot of people are starting uh, gardens herbs, vegetable gardens, depending on where you live in the country, uh, there's different ways to go about it. So if you're starting one and you have some questions, I'm happy to, to help you. Uh, locally, we have herbs and veggies that we can deliver and stuff for, for our people, but we can't, we can't send them out. Um, so hello, hello, Michigan. Thanks for watching on the, on the YouTube. So again, we're we're on Facebook and we're on we're on YouTube, and um, I'm just here to hang out with you guys and show you some cool plants. So the the cool thing about these plants are, um, I guess, all plants. Plants don't talk back; they're my they're perfect companions. Um, but what I did is I got I got some plants that would be that would be good for us uh, as far as in your homes to help clean the air. Um, some of them have different uh, different levels of air cleaning. So um, technical difficulties on the uh, Facebook, Crystal. <laughs> Find 
Uh, it's because the, the iPad's dead. So store's been closed in the 17th. The iPad that I'm using uh, to try to moderate for Facebook is uh, Crystal is going to be in the office. She's going to have to moderate for Facebook because I can't see any of the comments. Um, the iPad that normally is plugged in and powered up, we haven't used. So uh, the whole store actually got flipped around and turned around. So uh, all the plants have been shoved in different areas and we, we had to create some, some space to start shipping and packing stuff. So we've got packing stations and stuff like that. Um, it's just dead. Mm. So Teresa said she's looking at building a, um, I agree what she said, uh, an herb elevated outdoor garden. Yeah. So Teresa's in Arizona and she's talking about building an elevated garden. So here in Arizona, I would highly recommend that you build something off the ground. And this would go for anybody that's got uh, anything like pack rats or lots of rabbits. If you have those around, um, especially pack rats, they will, they will find any way to get in and eat everything that you put in there. Um, so one of the, one of the hard parts about Arizona gardens is that, uh, when the summer starts hitting in a couple months, the, the, uh, the, the soil dries out quickly. So you have to amend this for you, Teresa, when you go to, when you go to build your garden, I would start small. I would start small. Don't, don't build this huge, crazy raised garden or some huge box. I would go like two by two or four by four at the most. And that's it. Start there, start small so that you can get your bearing straight. You can fit a lot of plants in a small space, um, especially in Arizona, because a, a lot of the things that grow are more compact. Elsewhere, you, you can get away with some, some larger vining plants. But here in Arizona, um, what you want to do with the soil is I'd recommend adding extra perlite and extra sphagnum moss or something else to help absorb the water. So uh, to keep the soil as moist as possible for longer durations, for, that's for dry, hot climates. Um, and, then, and then it would go the exact opposite. If you're in a very humid, cool in the summer climate, you're gonna wanna be able to generate oxygen in the soil and not be too soggy and have the, you don't want your, your roots to be wet all the time. So. Um, so Teresa, that's that's uh, a lot of people are doing doing gardens, and that's the one thing I would definitely do an elevated one. But I would get something that's very small, maybe a cedar box that's on a four foot stilts or something, so that you can just go right up to it. You don't have to bend over, and then I'll keep the critters out. Um, so let me know if you have any other questions. The plant I'm holding here, this is a calathea. This is a, a very good oxygenator and uh, good with pets. So, uh, most of the stuff actually, yeah, most of the stuff I brought up is, is, I mean, do your research. Uh, but most of this stuff is all uh, good for cats and dogs. Uh, and this one's a really good oxygen maker. So good to have in your home. Uh, like Chris says hi. hello, hello, uh, bright indirect light here. Check that out. Bright indirect light, beautiful, beautiful leaves. Um, They'll do okay with lower light, but what happens is when you when you get when you don't have enough light, these margins become less. So this green space on the outside will become larger, and your little light space will be um, smaller. So it won't be as pretty. So ideally, you want bright indirect light. Um, Teresa wants to know what to plant for this summer. So Arizona plants right now: uh, peppers and tomatoes. Parsley, all the all the herbs are easy or decent to grow. Um, and then the other piece you're going to want to do, you're going to want to have a shade of some sort in the next like three, two, three months. Um, so yeah, for summer in Arizona, for the, the desert of Arizona, you're going to want uh, any of the anything that makes salsa. So anything that you would think to put in salsa, oregano, uh, parsley, basil. We have a real cool Thai basil that we we carry. That's good. Peppers, bell peppers. Do you want to get it? Um, yeah, we you can grab it. There's a it's Thai basil. It's not very uh, it's hard to find, but we we get it all the time. Uh, sweet basil and uh, you know jalapenos. If you like those, like jalapenos, we have you know, like habaneros do really well. Um, you can do peas too. 
uh, those are the those are the easy ones for desert Arizona. So if you're starting, that's what I would do uh, for summer. Um, Crystal went out to get that Thai basil, so I'll, I'll get it. I'll have her bring it over here. We'll smell it, check it out. Um, <clears throat> While she's doing that, one of our one of our favorites. I put this on. I put this plant on our, uh, it was on our story. This is a Maranta, it's prayer plant. And this is the, the lime, lime prayer plant. So uh, this is a six inch pot. So they grow, they grow nice. It's already trailing real far over the pot. But these, these also like bright and direct light. They, they will tolerate lower light even more than the Calatheas. Um, they do like, they do like humidity. Humidity, uh, obviously here in Phoenix, <laughs> you have to introduce humidity sometimes. Um, what'll happen is if it doesn't have enough humidity is you get a little bit of browning on the on the edges of the leaves, uh, which um, will happen if there's not enough humidity. So what we do in our store, uh, we run around like misting things like mad people, but we also, you know, you can have a humidifier and you can, you can, you can increase the humidity. Um, the, this is a very, very high oxygen maker, uh, but cool plant. So it, you can hang it. It can be in a hanging basket and grows very quickly. It's the that one on the your left hand. Spicy. Yeah. So this is this is spicy basil. So if you were to smell it, it's like um, it's got that sweet basil smell, but then with a little little kick. Um, so this grows really well. Sounds like me. Yeah. Yep. That's why I married you. <laughs> uh, sweet and spicy. So this grows well in Arizona. Um, it'll, it'll grow any, any hotter climate. It would do just fine. And, uh, it's good, good for lots of recipes. Um, so that's the spicy basil. I haven't been able to monitor any of the Facebook stuff, so I have no idea what's going on. I'm telling you. Hey, uh, this is a Sansevieria. Do you have comments on Hello, YouTube? hello. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm following the, the YouTube. What's up? All the way from Mesa. Is it JC? JC, thanks for, thanks for watching, hanging out with me. Tuesday night, um, for us in Arizona, this is our, Tuesday at five was our order. Um, I guess whatever you want to call it. But uh, the golf, golf courses are open, the salons are open. Um, but uh, we're, we're doing our part. This is a uh, Sansevieria honey eye. And this one actually has a little pup in it. Look at that. So any house, any any plant nerds, you got got we got a little little pup coming on this guy already. This is a six inch size one. Sansevieria's uh, this mother in law tongue, as it's commonly referred to. Um, this this one here is bird's nest. stays you know stays pretty small and short, not as tall. The the regular mother in law tongue is is taller. Amy Elizabeth wants to know how much is the plant you just showed before the basil? The marantas. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the one you were showing. Yeah, so local pickup is 20 and delivered is 26. Delivered anywhere in the U.S. Um, it's a six-inch pot, so it's big. It's good size. But we would we tuck this little little baby in with some paper and ship it on out. It'd be just fine. So yeah, twenty dollars for local pickup or 26 shipped, and then. Um, they would be the same thing for this one. If you're the Calathea would be the same. It's 20 and 26. This, this one. She said, thank you. You can, I think hopefully this stays. Did it, did it get back on? It did, but it might die. It might die again. The streaming is taking a lot um, of power. You want to make sure it doesn't. Yeah. And all these, control. all these plants are on our website. If you go on uh plant bar, az.com. Uh, some of these will be under the the locals only. So if you're outside of the area, we'll just have to we'll have to uh, add the shipping to it. Like I said, we're we're working on putting everything online. 
And the, the problem is that we have a lot of plants. So some of them, we only have like one or two and they're, they're rare and they're, they're, it's just a lot of work. <laughs> so, so we're working on it. Um, Sansevieria, if, uh, if you don't have, if you have plants and you don't have a Sansevieria in your house, this would be on the to-do list to get one. And I would recommend putting it into your bedroom. It removes tons of toxins. Um, there's a lot of long worded toxins that it removes and uh, helps you get better sleep. Um, that's science. Uh, so I'm, I'm not, I don't know all the science behind it. I just know what it is. And so this is one of the types that we carry. Uh, this is Sansevieria honei, bird's nest fern. Really good, really, really good to be uh, inside, especially um, inside your room. The cool thing about Sansevieria is it doesn't take a lot of doesn't need a lot of light. It, it can deal with some low light conditions where a lot of our bedrooms would have, uh, you know, not not have all the curtains open or, you know, things like that. It does need some light at some point or it'll it'll start to to deteriorate, but not too bad. Um, all right, I'm just reading some reading some uh, stuff on Facebook here. Suzette said it's very pretty. Yeah, I brought all. I brought all only the pretty plants today. And to be to be to be perfectly honest, so we have a we have some annuals and some other areas that we usually use to decorate, and um, they are not on the essential list. So I stopped watering them a while ago because they're 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 winter flowers, and we're getting out of winter and need to replace them. And so we've we've let them uh, be not essential anymore. So they started wilting. But these are essential. These are all the essential plants. Um, yes, yeah, Chris Chris did order up a bunch of these Sansevierias for rooms. Um, so for people in like smaller smaller places, apartments, uh, you know, tents, travel trailers, wherever you're living. I only said tent because we were out in the desert and there was like, there was a lot of people boondocking. I was, I was very surprised. There's, there's, there's a decent amount of people hanging out in the desert right now um, that usually I don't see. Um, but these, the Sansevieria will tolerate some, some, some not so great conditions. All right. Uh, let's see. What other? All right. It's a cool plant. I always like to show this one because it's one of my favorites. <clears throat> what I did though, these are, so the plants that I'm showing today, these might not be the super trendy Pinterest plants necessarily, but these are show stopping and they have a uh, good value. You're going to get, you're going to get some exchange for the plant, meaning they're going to, you know, they're going to be good for the, the air. They're going to help clean the air. Plus they're, you know, they're pretty easy to take care of and pretty to look at. So that's the, the ones that I picked out today that I'm showing or that's, that's, that's where they, that's my list. This is the bang for the buck. So you're getting something pretty. But you're also getting uh, you're also getting your inside of your home. You're gonna get the air cleaned, and uh, they're they're not difficult to take care of. So this one here is Calathea, and this is a rattlesnake plant. So as you can see, it's got these really cool leaves on it. Uh, rattlesnake plant. Yep, rattlesnake plant. Bright indirect light. Oh yeah, no. This the this is not this is rattlesnake plant, so it is not a Sansevieria. This is a Calathea. This this is a snake plant, Sansevieria. So Sansevierias, uh, I forgot to tell you. So watering with the Sansevierias, they um, they water much like a succulent. So sometimes in the winter you water only uh, uh, like once a month with a couple cups, or if you have holes in the bottom, you can. You can water through and then you let it dry all the way out before you water again. Um, watering for the Calatheas, um, you don't want the roots to get wet, but you, you want it when the top inch or two gets dry, you want to water through early. Um, so it's about once a week usually. It depends on where you put it. But these are Calatheas good for the good for cats and dogs and good for you. Um, they help clean the air and, and it's pretty. Our mate Ben Southgate is on Facebook watching. Welcome to the show, Ben. <laughs> We're just talking plants here. Life, plants. All right, next one. 
Mom's pretty. So. Let's get to show you. I uh, I think that the, the these are, this is a spider plant, and I think that they they don't get as much love and respect as they should. Um, you know, uh, back in the day, these were this was the this was the plant. This is your grandma and grandpa's plant. Uh, my grandpa actually helps me propagate a lot of these <laughs> uh, little ones, not the bigger ones. Uh, but basically, we um, it turned off again. Ah. Facebook's down. Crystal will have to watch Facebook and help Facebook is me. not down. It's not Facebook. My my iPad that I didn't come prepared with. So <laughs> this is a spider plant. Ben says, "What's up?" This is a uh, very very easy to grow. Good on the oxygen. You can hang it. You know, you can set it on a shelf, and uh, you know it'll fill a big space, and it'll it'll help clean clean the air inside your home. Can you ship that one? Yeah, you can ship anything. So as far as if you're outside of, uh, if you're watching and you're outside of the Phoenix area, I we can ship anything. The bigger the plant, just we have to add shipping to it. So uh, this plant, the these spiders here, I think they're twenty. It's a six inch hanging. It's twenty, and then shipped would be twenty six, and that can go anywhere anywhere in the United States. And this is the size that our six inch hanging ones are. But yeah, my, my grandpa Jack, he he uh, he has a good time. You can you can propagate by the the babies that are on these here. So it literally just makes tons of babies. So usually I have him start them start them in his uh, greenhouse, and then we once they get bigger, we bring them here and I I supersize them. Um, so we have a if you've been to the shop, we have some skylights, and the the skylights are perfect growing grounds for the the spider plants. So if you don't have a spider plant and you want to get some and help out your neighbors, you can you can easily propagate these. It just takes a little while to get them this big. Yes. Cindy Lou wants to know, do you have Grenovia dodrentalis? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. No Grenovia, Cindy Lou. Uh... I do know where some is. Oh, look. We'll have to plant this guy. Popped off. Came off. Yeah, um, Grenovia is tricky. So so uh, the closest we have some aeonium, but it is not greenovia. Greenovia is difficult to get, um, and if we ever have any, it doesn't stay here. We, we it, it sells and yeah, ships out. Like a second, <laughs> Chris wants to know how often do you water the spider plant? So spider plants are going to be um, now specific questions. Um, I'm going to give you the general answer because it's going to depend on where you where you have it, but. If it's in a brighter spot, it's going to be about once a week. Um, you could probably go a little longer. You want to water it when the top when the top inch is dry. So you would just get in there and fill the top inch, and you want that to be dry before you water it again. If it's in a pot with holes, you would water it all the way through. Um, you could also put a saucer underneath and water it and let the saucer fill up about uh, a finger width of space of water underneath there and let it pull it back in. But then you'd water it less often. So you don't ever, you don't want the roots to necessarily sit in water. You want it to be able to dry out, but it's the, the technical part would be when the top inch of soil is dry on a spider plant, which is similar to like a pothos or any, like some of the regular type plants, um, which generally is about once a week here in the store. It's once a week. I said you got thumbs up. Oh. <laughs> I I don't I love spider plants. Um, it this one here is actually pretty cool. Um, just because it's 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 got the reverse. These ones that I have in the shop right now have a reverse. It's got a wider. What are you showing? It's got a wider band. Oh, okay. I know you so if we're talking that. plants, uh, a lot of the spider plants will have a lot more white on it than green, and but this I, I can't remember the exact name. So, sorry, but it's got, this is a hybrid. It has a wider, wider band of green, which it makes the white pop more instead of just being this white plant. So I like these, pretty cool. But they're easy, they grow big quick, and they do the job. They're gonna clean up the air, and uh, you know, they're, they're okay with your pets. That's Robert says, sup guys? Robert Bully. Hey. Costa Rica? Yeah. <laughs> We're getting we're getting ready. We'll bring we'll bring uh 
We'll bring the spider plants. We were, we were my friend uh, Robert's on. Uh, they live in uh, Oceanside, I think. Right. I think so. And uh, and we were talking about going, running away. Maybe we'll and run I, into I've always the... talked about making a farm in Costa Rica. And maybe Carol Baskin's <laughs> husband is there because I just learned about that today. <laughs> but here's the deal: I, I've I've never been to Costa Rica, so I have no idea what I'm even talking about. It's just like me being funny. Ooh, I love black mondo grass. Candy wants to know, do you have any black mondo grass? So I do not have any in stock. No. But we could get some. Black mondo grass is so Oph pretty. Ophiopogum. Uh, that's one of like the Negro. first plants I actually learned That's, that's the a name California of. plant. Here, yeah. Here you, you uh, It wouldn't do so hot outside? No. Uh, mm. uh, in a pot in the shade, yeah. Or in a shady spot. But I guess it would do, it would do fine. Elsewhere, just not Phoenix. So <laughs> Perfect for moderate places. Um, what did I forget? Oh, they're behind me. What you gonna show? The fern. I brought. I brought. This is a good, real another good uh, oxygen maker. It's a Kimberly Queen <laughs> fern. She said, "Get some, and I'll try not to kill it." The what? The black Mondo. black Mondo. <laughs> I'll, I'll have some too. I'll I'll find out for you. Um, I know for sure we have a local uh local source that we can get the regular Mondo grass, for sure. Um, I know I can get black black Mondo grass. I just don't know how soon. I'll have to find it. Um, this is a good oxygen maker, easier to grow. Just uh, you just don't want this guy to dry out, but. Similar to spider plant. See, David disappeared. <laughs> but it'll it'll clean the air. It's good good plant. Are you seeing how much these things are still? No. <laughs> so the the ferns are fifteen locally and twenty one to ship. So it's like a six dollar shipping charge. Yeah, basically okay. we're we're adding we're adding six bucks to box this up and ship it anywhere in America. So. Uh, these are cool plants, good texture, Super right? Pretty. Yeah, look, we build, build a little thing here. All right. Charlie that's... says, "Beautiful plant." What's up, guys? Hello, hello. We're just we're just talking plants here. Want to make sure I got. So you got you got a few more users jumping on. Hey, if you're just jumping on, we've just been showing plants. Talking plants, if you have questions, um, feel free to ask them and I'll try to do a good job. Crystal is moderating on Facebook because my I have a, over here you can't see it, but I have a, a little screen. So if it, if it pops on and I look over that way, that's what I'm doing, but I it's dead. <laughs> um, so it's not gonna do us any good. But we're just talking plants, showing you some plants. Um, on, on YouTube, JC said he likes the spider plant. Yeah, spider plants. They're great plants. If you don't, you know, if you're just starting out or you have a collection, and you don't have one, then it's it's a eat, it's a good plant to fill fill a corner with. You can grab it again. It's a good plant to fill a corner with and help help clean the air in your house. You know, for the next little while, we're going to be hanging out, cooped up inside for a while. So um, everybody. It's it's kind of fun because for me I I've always had just we just always have plants around but but now we have a lot of friends that are wanting to get plants in their house too and it's it's a lot of fun to to see you guys do that um so oh I, okay here, I got some of those oh like where is all the I I got them right here all right so for all my friends that don't like or don't have time to be the gardener yet inside their home one of the easy ways to you still mean i can't kill it <laughs> i'm sorry i wasn't moderating very good hold on there's some comments uh anything can be killed yeah but <laughs> we kill stuff all the time guys it's it it's... crystal kills stuff okay i kill i stuff. killed the annuals on, on purpose yeah I they're kill stuff. the the annual flowers outside you were, kill they're... stuff too if you forget yeah well, that's usually what it is. That's just huge. But the, the running joke is, so not a running joke, but the reality is, look, if you're not a green thumb, people that say they're a black thumb, 
If you're saying you're not a green thumb, the only reason you're not is because you just haven't killed enough plants. That's <laughs> you, you learn by screwing things up just like in life, right? Most of the time you could read the directions a hundred times. Somebody could tell you what to do a hundred times, but sometimes you just got to kind of live it for yourself and figure it out. And so like these, these air plants here, if you leave them in water too long, like because these get put in basically a bath of water. If you put them in water for too long, they shrivel, they they basically peel apart and they saturate and they die. Um, and so, but they're easy. It's a bath at, at least once a week for 30 minutes, not more than four hours. You just put them in the water. But they like bright and direct light. Here in Arizona, they can't go outside. That's the the one thing. They can be outside for a little bit, but it's too dry here. Where where uh, areas that are more humid, you can you can use these to decorate and to help. You know they are living. They are plants, so they will help clean the air. Um, so um, we got right right before all this happened. We we were going to have our well, we did have it, but it was smaller than expected because of what was going on. But um, our last day that we were open the public, it was our one year anniversary, and I was like ready to you know buy up all kinds of stuff and I, I had brought in a whole bunch of air plants and so we're still sitting on a whole bunch of air plants you gotta get prices do you remember all the prices um, for <laughs> no but what i what i was gonna do i can try to is get you prices. so can you get the cactus keychain too yeah and we'll, we'll put this on the website but for this for the next week maybe two weeks um we're going to do so the cactus keychains I did I did this weekend I did you know you order anything over fifty bucks and uh, anything over fifty bucks and you get a free cactus keychain and I would say excluding these zero graphicas um, we can also we can also add on the air plants not not zero graphicas but for anybody that's if you're wanting to buy some plants. Here's a little motivation for you. These are cool. These are just cool little mementos, okay. gifts. Candace asked, do you still, or do you need distilled water for air plants or is tap water okay? Yeah, no, you can use tap water. Um, Particularly not. I prefer just never to use, water. yeah, don't ever use your, uh, Osmosis. Uh, if you've got a salt, if you have a salt uh, salt water softener system, do not use that water for any of your plants ever. <laughs> and then it, there's some that can can tolerate it, but it's if you just use that rule of thumb, it's better. Um, distilled is always a good choice for lots of different plants, um, but most plants will tolerate uh, regular tap water. There's the exception would be there's some that prefer to only use distilled. Um, so if you have specific questions, I can I can answer those. Um, so we'll we'll put this up on the web. This will be any order over fifty bucks uh, for the next week. We'll we'll ship. We'll sh put the one of these guys in your in your bag free. And they're really easy. So these they're are cool. They've got these little. They got these little. Uh, Little hip. cork board in there, little holes. Ben says hip flasks. Yeah, <laughs> a little a little bite of a cactus. Inside these are all mammillaria, as it's called. So they're actually all like a flowering little cactus at some point, but these are obviously really small. I'm not gonna do that. Mm -hmm. um, maybe though, I don't know. I don't see any. So in any orders over fifty bucks. And they have little holes in the bottom. Yep. And you then water them like once every two weeks. So it's every ten days. It's yeah. Oh yeah. So you put it in a little saucer of water, you fill a little bit of water in there and then the cork board pulls it up and then that's it. These guys are good. They're cute. They're cool. I was excited when we got them. And then what do you want to do with these airplanes? Cause we got a whole bunch. We got to get, so, well, okay. So I believe we got to get through them. I'll get them real quick. Mm -hmm. Well, what I was thinking, I don't want prices. Well, if you want to say what they are and then say what they cost. Yeah, but those aren't the internet prices. 
Oh yeah, to get shipped, it's different. So we included the shipping. There's only a few of these red ones left, but basically what I'm thinking is is for all of our friends, if you if you want an air plant, order some plants, and we're gonna we're gonna figure out what to do here on the fly. Um, this one's a cool one. It's a it's a capitata. So given the right given the right the right environment, they could even flower. It's difficult in Arizona, but if you live in a more temperate climate where it's you know a little more humidity, <clears throat> you got it in a bright shady like a bright shade area, it'll they'll they'll do really well. Um, so while Crystal's figuring that, out, I just want to show you that this is one of my favorite plants. I, I love having this. This is a this is a zero graphica. It is an air plant. As you can see. There's nothing here. Same thing. You would soak this in water and uh, bright indirect light. And we also have some, you can get fertilizer and you 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 get a year's supply of fertilizer and you do that once a month. Um, you want to for sure get the watering under control first. So this is one of my favorites. And we, we use these to decorate uh, decorate around. I don't know if the zero price is right online, but that's what it says. So that might might be a little bit wrong, but. Yeah, so what I was thinking is um, if you, like we'll put it on there to where you can add, if you spend over 50, uh, you'll get an air plant for free. Yeah. Small ones. That's so. Fine. Well, the red one is a little more, but that's up to you. You're the boss. No, it's fine. Mm -hmm. So no. over 50, no. uh, be your choice of smaller plants, not not the Zeographicas. These ones, these ones are a little more. How about in a bathroom window for the air plant? Oh yeah. Is well, yep. even if it's direct sunlight. Yeah, that'd be fine. Bathroom window because it's humid. Yeah, yeah, that's a good. You know, um, we have a lot of customers that put plants in the shower with them, um, specifically. As long plants. as there's windows. If you don't have windows in your in your bathroom and you're putting plants in there, that's a no no. It's a naughty. <laughs> oh, uh, Corey just logged on. Corey, welcome to my show. <laughs> we talk all things plants. Not always. Well, we're going to correlate them with life. We talk Tiger King too. Yeah. <laughs> I was out I was out in in browsing. We have uh so we carry Fox Farm uh fertilizers and supplements and and which is a really good 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 product and uh they're made in Humboldt County with bout guano and a real rich soil. And um, one of them is, uh, was it Tiger Blood? Tiger Blood. I think it's called Tiger Blood. Anyways, I saw that and I, I watched that horrible, great documentary. And so I, <laughs> I put it on our story. Um, so, so Corey, it was, you know, that, that, that whole Tiger King's like, it's a mix of, of Yuma with. Uh, <laughs> Carlos says, hell yeah, Tiger King. With a, a mix of Yuma without the. Uh, Without the border influence around, <laughs> I forgot to show this plant, um, so I figured I'd I'd pull it up here. This is a philodendron Brazil, and there's a, there's a there's a there's two that are easy uh, that fit in this criteria of the other plants. If you're just joining us, I, I've basically been showing plants uh, that are good at cleaning the air, taking toxins out, and also. Uh, mostly safe or moderately safe for pets, cats and dogs. <laughs> Your mom says, hey, we ain't all rednecks. Yeah. Uh, nope. Not, maybe not. Um, so bright indirect light. This is a philodendron Brazil. Uh, watering would be similar to like the spider or one of the others. Um, just when the top inch or so is dry, you'd water thoroughly and you, it's, uh, it's about once a week. So that's these. Their price? These ones here are 20 bucks, 26, 20 local, 26 to ship anywhere in the US. Six inch size. And did you talk about our delivery policy for uh, Phoenix? Yeah, I mean, at this point, to be honest with you, if you order something from me, I'll bring it to you because I'm stuck in my house. And he, he likes going out in the car. <laughs> We don't so, go anywhere else, though. I guess I'm not. I mean, I just 
chosen to. It's an adventure when we go out. In the chosen park. to isolate, and uh, we built a bunch of stuff. We made a huge mess in our store. Oh yeah. Which is why you're only seeing right here. This is all you're seeing. Because <laughs> we started. And not seeing me. Because the store, we had to we had to convert the store mess. to to start shipping everything. So we've got little instead instead of having like all the displays of plants, we have some displays of plants with the rest of the stuff. Um, we. Cause we started, we did these plant adventures. We've been doing them for a long time, but we, we started selling them online and we've shipped a ton of them all over America. It's been a lot of fun. Adam says, hello, my family. Hello, Adam. Who won? Who welcome won? to the, welcome to the little show. <laughs> <laughs> Delivered to O side. Oh man, Robert, don't even get me started. Uh, I don't think we can cross the border. I don't think I'm we just can. kidding. I don't yeah, know. We can. can we cross the word? Uh, so Laura, Laura asked uh, on YouTube if we ship to, they didn't close the border. Oh. Do you ship to California? And the answer is yes, Absolutely. we do ship to California. We So we have outdoor plants and other things that cannot be shipped outside of Arizona or delivered. But all of our house plants, anything that's grown for the indoors. It can be uh, delivered. You said that wrong. What? You can porch delivery. In yeah, here room. locally yeah. though, I'm telling you, it's not going in the mail. But house plants and air plants, um, things that are made that are that are have been grown inside or made for the inside can be shipped across the U.S. Yeah. But if I ever, if you're ever on a YouTube, if you're on our live here on YouTube or Facebook, and you see me showing you some stuff outside, herbs, veggies, maybe larger shrubs, that's those are those have to stay in Arizona. Um, unless they're being sent on a truck to another nursery or something like that. So that was uh, Laura Martina. She'd asked on YouTube. So I was just answering her question. Um, so, um, confirms the border is open. Which yeah. Oh, border is open. We're not spreading misinformation, but we're, we're, we're just hanging out here. We've been, uh, you know, to be honest, my life slowed way down and it's been really nice. So, um, in that way. So I, I hope that you guys have, Everybody out there that's watching that you've been able to spend some time with the people around you instead of being passing ships, uh, which a lot of times happens. Um, you know, we kind of were forced to slow down and hang out with each other a little bit. Crystal saw saw a whole whole new David. Oh yeah, there was a She was like, Who are you? There well, I mean, I work with <laughs> you regularly, I guess. I was telling her this is this is how it's gonna be when we're retired. You're gonna get to hang out with me all the time. Rebecca asks, do you still have the Rojo Conga or the Black Coral Sansevieria? So we have one Black Coral Sansevieria. It's over there in the red bucket. We do have we do have a Congo right now. The only one we have, yeah, that's it. The only Congo that we have is big. big Where's big. Rebecca at? I think she's local. Here? Yeah. If you're local, it would make sense. Yeah, um, and I'll have to see if we can get some more. But this is the this is what she's talking about. So this is a philodendron Congo. Um, it's got the red stems on it. That one's a beautiful one. Yes, very. Here, good. check it out. <laughs> You're such a nerd. This one's fifty. Do you want to take it back? And we can't we can't ship that. She's in North Phoenix. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Um, we. So we can porch deliver. Don't get me wrong, we can ship anything, but That's depending a big on shipment. but it depends on where you live. We're in Arizona. If you are in Massachusetts and you want this big honking plant to you, Goodness. the shipping is gonna be a little that's gonna be a booger. That's that's the problem. When we're shipping four inch plants, six inch plants, it's not that big of a deal. We we can figure out how to get it in small boxes, um, send it priority and it makes sense. But when we're talking big bigger pots it, it costs more money so that's uh we have that big one which i don't know that i don't know we had some six inch ones that were smaller but we sold them all and that's that's the last one we still have um letty says do you have vanilla banana trees blue agave so uh we do not have any musa no no banana right now and what kind of agave blue agave Tons of blue agave. Yeah, we have tons all of All day long. You're talking agave americana? Letty. Yeah. Letty? Like, I think that, well, she hasn't responded yet. She can Google that. So agave americana, we got tons of. That's uh, that's actually the, the tequila, one of the tequila plants. Um, yeah. 
So if you're not familiar with Arizona, the agaves are, it's a succulent that grows in the Southwestern uh, area. Uh, it's actually native to Mexico, not necessarily here, but it grows really well in the desert, Southwest desert. And um, it grows like a weed. <laughs> so um, easy to propagate. You can pull stems off and and literally let it dry out for a couple of days, plant it in the ground and it'll, it'll grow again. Rebecca's thinking about that one. So just let us know, Rebecca, and we'll hook you up. Yeah, if you're if you're watching this on, on Facebook or even on YouTube and you see something that you want, and you're not sure if we can ship it or whatever, or if you want something that you don't see or I haven't talked about, we probably have it. Okay. Um, I just try to keep, we're trying to condense because I could talk about plants for 10 hours. Um, one thing you should note is uh, that we can get things that we don't have, like trees, fruit trees. Oh yeah, so if you're if you're local to Arizona and you're wanting to start a garden, um, we can get lots of different things. All the starts though, we, we've been kind of selective with that, which are like the four inch or the jumbo packs because we have to get a whole tray of them and we need to make sure that we can sell them, get rid of the whole tray. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So mom asks, which agave do they make syrup with? Uh, it's going to be more than likely the, well, there's a bunch of different agaves. Would it be the agave Americana or the agave mezcal? And then they're yeah. like big ones, the big six by sixes. Yeah. Donalyn said she needs a few plants that really help clean the air. Donalyn, we just went over about eight. Yeah. Plants. So if you're just, if you're just joining us now, or you joined us kind of late, basically the gist of this live was to show you some select plants that are good for mostly good for pets and they're bang for your buck. So you get, you get a pretty plant and I'll, I'll go back through them. You get a pretty plant. Uh, but that gives you more benefits than than you're giving it, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Do you offer to build garden planters to help get clients going? So I have a person that I can recommend to you to build them that we had build ours. To build the box. Yeah, he's they're yeah. Lo they're local to the area. But they build them out of cedar. Suggest, we can suggest what to put in there. Oh, who asked that? Yeah. Oh, yes. If you rewatch. I went, I went through a, a list of beginner plants. No worry, Donalyn, just watch the video again. Um, no, I'll go back through it. Or All right, he, so, can, he can go back through it real So quick. what I did, so again, thank you guys for supporting us. By the way, I, I forgot to say that. For all of our watchers on YouTube, everybody on Facebook, thank you so much for hanging out with us and for helping us to kind of kind of live our dream. So we want we appreciate all of you purchasing things and supporting our small business. Um, and then we hope that we, in the midst of all this, we can entertain you and we can provide some, some plants that will help, uh, clean the air at your house, make it pretty and, uh, you know, have a cool spot. And yeah. If you can't, I mean, it's hard for me to talk cause I'm behind the camera, but if you can't afford to buy anything, supporting us by going to our YouTube channel and subscribing really helps us. Um, we're trying to reach a thousand subscribers. Once we hit a thousand subscribers, YouTube actually will start paying us for when people watch our stuff because, you know, ads and all that great stuff comes along with watching videos on YouTube. So uh, that is a great way that if you want to help us out, follow us on YouTube, um, watch our videos. They're pretty funny, I think. <laughs> yeah, if anything, you, you can watch, you can watch uh, Kira pick her booger or whatever. <laughs> um, but no, if, you know, our hope is that we can, you know, show you guys what we have and then you can, uh, you know, in the times right now, we'll, we'll, we'll hang out with you. We'll have a little bit of time to talk about plants, talk about life. Um, but ways that you can support us and our family right now, especially is, is if you haven't already and, and you go on YouTube just to subscribe to our channel. It's Plant Bar AZ. No, I think it's just Plant just Bar. Plant Bar. You can find it if you search Plant you Bar. search Dave Plant Bar. Um, if you search plant bar, we'll, we'll probably on, uh, put it in the comments. Um, Grammy says, love you guys. Love you too. Um, mom says digging for gold. <laughs> Kira. <laughs> she learned that from her mom. Hey, <laughs> not true. Um, there's no picking your nose right now. No, Do not touch your face. Don't touch your face.
Um, so I'm gonna go back through the plants that I showed you. But yeah, if you, if you, if you're following us on Facebook and you, and you, you kind of like what you've seen and, and you like kind of watching us, and you want to have something to do, uh, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can uh, comment on any of our videos, tell us how dorky we are or whatever. But we do a lot of cool different builds and show a bunch of different stuff and uh, kids, little kids little time. glimpses of our family. Um, we try to keep it short and not be like this vlog, but more like cool stuff help you see what we're building and then little glimpses of us being ourselves. Um, so, which by the way, we actually had, I had Misha mow the lawn yesterday. You didn't videotape it. I did. You did? A uh, little bit. I mean, it, it is what it is, but yeah. <laughs> uh, so anybody, she, that's the first time she ever operated a lawnmower and it's powered. So it's got, it's, it, she did okay. Wow. It didn't drag her along and she only left a couple Mohawks. She missed a couple spots. Oh, but, Adam, don't be so mean talking about food. He said he's eating a homemade chicken quesadilla. We, uh, Adam didn't see the part where we talked about how we haven't eaten I haven't yet. eaten yet. So I'm going to go he back went, through. You went off-roading with Brad. Yeah, we went and talked to life through the bumps in the truck. Not hung on for dear life. <sighs> Uncle Zeb's on. Hey, Zeb. He's on Facebook? Yeah, he's on Facebook. All right. Um, so I'm going to go back through. So for anybody that is just joining, uh, basically the live today was to show you plants that are bang for your buck. So good, good, easier to care for plants that will help clean the air, take toxins out of the air. And you know, they, they have a, they look pretty nice on their own. Yeah. Adam says Brad is a good boy. Sure. I was just going to say, I would just like quickly, like say what it is, show what it is. And then if they want to know how much it is, we can go, we can tell them. Well, it's all, you, it's all, um, so mo all these plants are online. They're on plantbaraz.com. If you go to locals only, they're going to be there. So those are the locals only uh, thing. But basically to ship, most of these is going to add six bucks and yeah. it'll ship anywhere Yeah. Uh, for any of these size ones. So we're, so we're just, if, if you're sorry. wondering what in the world's going on, Crystal's, uh, in quarantine mode and she's not coming in front of the camera. I'm so still, she's just the I'm voice. My jam. She's she's the voice behind the camera and I'm uh I'm here I guess. Y'all have no makeup on. I'm in my jammies. I ain't so in front of any camera. <laughs> she couldn't help but be involved, I guess. Well David couldn't set us up by himself. That's more of the truth. That is very true. <laughs> I I'm learning to be more tech savvy. I, I built my own website a, a long time ago. I remember. So I'm capable of doing it. However, it's a lot easier just to play with plants. Explain to Donna Lynn delivering. We are still door porch delivering. Oh, it's fine. Just tell us what you want, and I'll get out of the house and take it to you. David is loving being able to go put it on your porch because it so means we get to the rule. The what we what we were doing before is we we were doing uh, if you spent fifty bucks, fifty dollars and up locally, so Phoenix area we were delivering for free. Um, but at this point in the game, I will deliver whatever. So I, it doesn't matter. Just Ocean whatever. Side? No, to Arizona, <laughs> Phoenix. Phoenix, I'm just kidding. Phoenix. Everything else will have to be delivered through the mail system. Yeah. Um, and, but we're happy to send anything, anything that you're wanting that we can get for you, we will figure it out. So if you don't see what I'm, if you don't see something you've been looking for, you can always, uh, you can DM us on Instagram. You can PM us on Facebook. You can message us in the comments on any of our YouTube videos or, or call the store. And we will we will try to get and get your price and send over. Uh, <laughs> oh. Donalyn says she really wants one of everything. Well, that's what happened to me. And then you open up a store. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you know, I forgot. We do have... I have one right now, black black velvet Sansevieria. That's this one. This one's 22. So 22 locally, 28 uh, shipped to anywhere in the U.S. So um, it's actually good size. There's no pups or anything, but new fresh growth. So it when these uh, when these uh, start the they're a little lighter green, but as they age, they turn a dark, dark green, almost black. So somebody had asked about that. Mm -hmm. I, I forgot. We have one right now available. 
Chris, uh, Chris put them in all of her bedrooms. Yeah. So she took a bunch of them, <laughs> um, which is very smart. So uh, Sansevieria, the one I showed earlier. So I'm going to go back through all the plants and then we're going to take any other questions that we have. And then we're going to let you guys get back to the Tiger King or the new Ozark or 